Good morning, Hero Wars fans. First of all, I would like to start with a business announcement. As of today, we are now accepting applications for the viewer giveaway via the link in the description section of this video. The deadline for submissions is Sunday, June 26, 2022 at 11 a.m. Japan time. So please click on the link in the description section of this video and enter your account ID in the space provided on the website that appears. The viewer giveaway for this video channel is for HeroWars.com players, and the system does not allow viewer giveaways to be sent to the Facebook and mobile versions of the site. Now, we would like to announce the winners of last week's viewer giveaway. We received 490 entries for last week's viewer giveaway, so the odds of winning are 1 163. After a strict drawing, the winners were determined to be 1,084,400, 31,275,054, 14,674,598. Congratulations to the three winners. Red gift packages will be shipped within 24 hours after this video is posted, so please look forward to receiving your prizes. Now, in this video, I am going to discuss and look at the comments we received from our viewers. First of all, let me say that I do not intend to discuss whether the opinions of the viewers we will discuss are right or wrong, as each person has his or her own unique ideas and perspectives. The reason I read Chappie's comment and decided to bring it up was to let viewers know that people have such different points of view. It is clear that Chappie's ideal Kark team is a team composition capable of critical attack. He recommends Sebastian and Jet as the means to give a critical attack to a Kark team, but does not recommend Nebula. Chappie's opinion so far can be briefly expressed as follows. The Kark team of Kark, Sebastian and Jet is the best. Sebastian and Jet, who can give Kark critical attacks, are the best partners for Kark, right? Chappie's biggest concern seems to be the timing of the hero's skill activation. My favorite Astaroth, Kark, Kai, Jurgen, and Faceless team compositions also do not include Nebula, nor do they possess critical attack capabilities. The reason why I have not included Nebula in my team composition is because I am focusing on the same thing as Chappie. Considering the impact of one's attack on the enemy team's skill activation, I also believe that it is difficult to fight with only a significant amplification of attack power. Rather, I prefer an approach that focuses on the timing and frequency of a hero's skill activation and builds the team composition from there. I'll summarize what I've said so far in broad strokes. In Hero Wars, everyone's focus is completely different when devising a favorite team composition. Some people, like myself, have been fighting for two years with only one team composition, while others change their team composition flexibly depending on their opponents. In reading Chappie's comments this time, I was interested in the part of the post where he wrote that the attacker's skill is activated first by the opponent's attacker because the attack power is too high from the beginning. The interesting thing about Hero Wars matchups is that some cases can be screwed over by force alone, and others not so much. I believe that Chappie wrote in the comments section what he has learned from his many competitive experiences with the Kark team. I see, some of you have noticed something that I haven't. Okay, I'll pretend I noticed this too and make a video about it. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.